Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, Microsoft has released a couple of uh, what they call dynamic updates. And what's a dynamic update? Well, it's not meant to be applied to your operating system when it's, once it's installed. It's meant to be applied on the image that you use when you start a clean install of Windows, for example. So two of them that I will share, if you are planning to reinstall Windows at some point, Windows 11, uh, 24H2, um, it's not a bad idea because these dynamic updates actually improve the stability and the uh, setup process uh, for Windows 11. And also, uh, one of them is for the recovery environment uh, update. So like I said, these are not to be downloaded on your PC and installed. They're meant to be added to an image that you use uh, to install Windows 11. So the two updates that are um, actually being shared now with um, uh, the Microsoft Update Catalog is the first one here, which is um, KB5060614. This is the update that improves the setup process. So a lot of things are fixed, uh, including some problems that maybe some of you have been uh, seeing Unfortunately, I don't know why Microsoft does not update itself the image that's on their download site, uh, and they require you to do these um, by yourself. But um, anyways, you got two packages here. If you have the ARM version of Windows 10 or Windows 11, sorry, um, and here it says Windows 10 and later, uh, but uh, it is really mostly for Windows 11, as it says for Windows 11. So um, uh, there's an ARM version and there's a standard x64 version for the um, for most of us that use standard uh, PCs. And there's also the second one here, which is the KB5059693. And these are uh, for the Windows reco recovery environment. It um, makes it um, better because some of the uh, PCs with the Windows recovery environment um, could have been crashing or freezing. Um, this fixes that problem also. So once again, not to apply, don't download this and apply it on your Windows machine. This is meant to be downloaded and applied to a, for example, if you have a Windows 11 24H2 image on a USB thumb drive, uh, it's meant to be added to those setup, uh, these these images, uh, for those that uh, know how to do it. I believe I have a video on the channel here that explains how to add uh, or change a, uh, a, a image, a Windows image, uh, before installing. So uh, I'm sharing this information for those of you that want to apply these and uh, would like to have um, basically an updated version of the... Uh, image to install Windows 11 24H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.